are you a resident of the Sacramento Bay Area and have not found a home church yet? Well, look no further and join our family of believers at Nations Life Chapel. We meet every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. for our empowerment service, every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. for our Word on Wednesday Bible study, and every last Friday of the month at 10.30 p.m. for our night vigil prayer. During our services, you'll have an encounter with God, and your life will be transformed. Your hope will be restored, and you'll understand what it means to be a disciple of Christ. So hey, just take that step of faith and come worship with us. I took a step of faith, and God has transformed my life in ways I never thought possible. So I am inviting you to join us for our weekly services, and you will not be disappointed. Hey, we, we look, look forward, forward to seeing you. sit down in the presence of the Lord, please. Please help me change this battery, please. You're in the front of the camera. Amen. The Lord is good. And all the time, Amen. We thank God for coming to the presence of the Lord one more time. Amen. We are here to worship Him and to celebrate Him. Amen. Amen. So I'm happy to see all of you. And it's my desire to see God move in our life strongly. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, we just want to thank you. We thank you for the opportunity given to us this moment. Lord, we give you praise and we give you the glory. Have your way tonight. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted. We magnify your holy name. Thank you for who you are. That God, there will be something great, something powerful in our life today. We bless you. We give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 How many of you know we are in the month of new things? Amen. Amen. We are in the month of new things. Amen. And God is doing the new things in our life. Amen. And how many of you are experiencing new things? New things, new things. Amen. Your health is new things. Amen. Your health is new things. Once you are strong, once you are healthy, it's a new thing happening in your life every day. Amen. There are many of those who don't have that new thing of health. Some are struggling with health, but the Lord is on our side. Amen. He has granted us new things in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight, we are going to be studying some few things. We have some occasion going on in some one of our brothers in the house here. One of our brothers in the house here who is graduating today. Amen. Yes, graduating today. Amen. And so we celebrate him and we are thanking God for his long journey of his graduation. Amen. 
Amen. So we keep on praying and keep on trusting God for his life. Amen. He has done very well. Amen. Tonight, I want us to deal with something great. That thing is very important when God wants to do something new in your life. When God wants to do something new in your life, He needs your attention. Amen. Somebody say, God needs my attention. Yes, God needs your attention. God wants you to pay attention to Him. So, what I'm going to be teaching today is on there is no offense with understanding. Hallelujah. There is no offense with understanding. Understanding has no offense. Amen. When you understand, you will have clarity. When you understand, your ways are open. When you understand, you will figure out what you need to do and how to do it. Amen. So God wants our understanding. Amen. There is no offense with understanding. Understanding will not be offended when you understand understanding. <laughs> Amen. Yes, the word is inside. Understanding will always bring you to a part of righteousness. It will make you to have clarity. Exactly what you want to do. There are times you want to do something and uh, you are standing and you didn't know or you don't know what exactly to do. Because you don't have that understanding. But God is going to help us tonight to understand. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3, reading from verse number 5 to 8. Proverbs chapter 3, reading from verse number 5 to 8. Amen. It's a popular scripture. Proverbs 3, 5 to 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean on, lean not on your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your path. Proverbs chapter 3. Okay, I can't see it on the board. That's why. Amen. All right, thank you. It's good. It's okay. Proverbs chapter 3, verse number 5 to 8. Amen. You can bring it back. Amen. Amen. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. That's fine. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Don't have your own understanding. Don't depend on your own understanding. So where is that understanding going to come from? If you're not going to depend on your own understanding, it comes from the Lord. Amen? It comes from where? The from the Lord. And the Bible says in verse number 6, In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. In all your ways, acknowledge the Lord, and he shall direct your paths. Verse number 7 says, Be not wise in your own eyes. Some scriptures also say, Be not wise in your own understanding. Eyes. In your own eyes. Alright. For the Lord. For fear the Lord. And turn away from evil. Be not wise in your own eyes. Don't think that. It is only you. That can make it happen. Or that making it happen comes from you. But it comes from the Lord. So, it is very important for us to understand that. The source of our understanding belongs to God. Amen. I love it that way. Leave it that way. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, go ahead, please. Amen. 
the source of understanding belongs to what? It belongs to what? God. It belongs to God. Our source belongs to God. Now let's go to the book of Job. Chapter 12. Reading from verse number 13. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Job chapter 12, verse number 13. He said, With God are wisdom and might. He has counsel and understanding. With God has what? Wisdom and might or wisdom and strength. And he has counsel and understanding. Amen. God is the one that have wisdom and he has strength so when you are looking for strength god has it you are looking for wisdom god has it amen and he has counsel and he has understanding god is able to counsel you so for you to understand what exactly that is happening around you amen and my prayer for you tonight is May the Lord give you understanding. Amen. Amen. Lord, may I understand who I am. Amen. May I understand my calling. May I understand my assignment for this kingdom. Amen. What is my assignment? What is your assignment for the kingdom of God? Amen. What is your assignment? Why do you come to church every day? Why are you worshiping God? Why are we, do we accept him as personal Lord and Savior? What is your understanding about the whole God we serve? Do you actually understand God? Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, when you go to... Uh, when you go to Psalm 136, verse number 5. Psalm 136, verse number 5. I'm just laying a foundation... Psalm 136, verse number 5. It says here, To him who by understanding made the heavens, for his mercy endured forever. To him who by wisdom, is by wisdom. My own here says, To him who by understanding made the heavens. Do you understand why God created you? Do you understand why God made you who you are? That nobody can change your DNA. Nobody can change your status. Nobody can change the handwriting of God concerning your life. Your destiny is in intact. Somebody, somebody said, my destiny is intact. Yeah, my destiny is intact. And nobody can change it. I have never seen any eraser on the surface of the earth that can change the handwriting of God. Amen. So it is what? Intact. Nobody can change it. Nobody will ever change it. Amen. Now, I want you to understand that understanding is a gift from God. It is what? It is a gift of, from God because it has no offense. It's a gift. Some people just don't understand anything. No matter how you explain, no matter how you go deeper, they just don't have that understanding. But remember I said this, understanding does not come from us, but it comes from God. So if you lack understanding, the one who gives it understanding is God. So every day when we pray, we ask God to understand our prayer. We ask God, ask God to give you understanding to the kind of prayer you want to pray. Amen. Sometimes it's not because we are not praying. Every time we pray, every time we call upon God. But if you really understand what is happening around you, that makes you to have a targeted prayer. It makes you to have what? A targeted prayer. Understanding makes you to have a target Ask to what exactly what you want to do. Amen. So tonight, I am praying for you that you would discover yourself through the understanding of the word of God. 
Lord, what do you have me to do? What do you have me to do? What exactly do you want me to do? Amen. And that will help us this evening. Amen. Proverbs chapter 2 verse number 6. Understanding is a gift from God. Just know that understanding is what? For the Lord giveth wisdom. And out of his mouth cometh knowledge and what? Understanding. He giveth what? Oh, come on. He giveth what? Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Oh, I pray that you will understand your calling. Amen. Oh, I pray that you will understand your journey in life. Oh, it is my prayer that this church and the members will understand the vision Amen. of Nations Life Chapel. They will understand why God brought you here. And why God brought you here is not only coming to church. Because God knows that there is something he wants you to do for him here. Amen. Amen. God knows that. He, that's why he brought you here. Every house that God builds, there is a purpose and a reason for that house. Amen. Amen. And the people who live in that house count a lot to that house. They value a lot to that house. So I want you to understand that you are valuable to God Amen. as a member of Nations Life Chapel. Amen. 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 You are valuable. You are valuable. Amen. Amen. Count it as a blessing. For the Lord giveth wisdom and out of his mouth. So when you are praying to God, you are asking the Lord, you are the one that giveth wisdom. Out of your mouth, you have knowledge. Out of your mouth, you have understanding. So Lord, the understanding you have, give it to me so that I understand where I'm going. Amen. We will understand that we will worship the Lord in the fear of his holiness. Amen. So that when Jesus appears, why are we preparing ourselves? We are preparing ourselves and coming and worshiping because God has a place for us to go for eternity. We are not going to remain here forever. I will see you in on the heaven gate. I will see you on the heaven street. And I will say, oh, glory a Dios. Glory a Dios. You made it. And I made it. We'll be celebrating in heaven. Amen. Amen. So you have to have the understanding that how are you worshiping God? What gift is it that you are giving to God? How, what is the weight of your worship to God? Do you place God in your life as the best person and the first priority of your life? If you have that understanding you will not allow anything to stop you from worshiping God. Because if you have that understanding, nobody else will force you to do what God wants you to do. And when you are doing what God wants you to do, there will be full of joy. Amen. Amen. Somebody say understanding. understanding. Very important. Amen. Amen. Proverbs chapter 29 verse number 24. Proverbs 29, verse number 24. Whoso is partner with a thief hated his own soul, and he heareth cursing, and what? Beared it not. Whosoever, give me NLT, please. If you assist a thief, you only hurt yourself. You are, a, you are sworn to tell the truth, but you dare not testify. Now, when you have understanding, you can never assist a thief. For lack of knowledge, my people will perish. So when you have understanding, and somebody is trying to do something different and evil, you will stop them from doing it. Amen. 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 So I want you to understand that understanding is a gift from God. It is what? It's a gift from God. 
Job chapter 38 verse number 36. Job chapter 38 verse number 36. Who gives intuition to the heart and instinct to the mind? Job chapter 38, 36. Give me King James Version. Job 38, 36. Job 38, 36. Who have put wisdom in the inward part or who have given understanding to the heart? Who is it that has given verse number 38 36 30, yeah that's it remain there who have what put wisdom in inward part or who have given understanding to the heart who is it it, it is only god somebody say god i pray that the lord will make your heart full of understanding people of god when you discover who you are in christ when you discover who you are in christ and your position in Christ and what God has called you to do you will do everything with joy amen, amen? amen. you will do everything with joy it doesn't matter how many time how many hours you spend in his presence as long as is you are in the Bible says, in his presence there is fullness of joy in the presence of God there is a fullness of joy there is always fullness of joy you can never go come to the house of god and remain the same something else will change about you amen every stress every worry every strong every, every stronghold every 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 trouble the lord will take it away from you why you are just on the path of god amen understand this spiritual truth I want you to know what it means to understand spiritual truth. But before we go there, let's go to the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel chapter 2 verse number 21. The book of Daniel chapter 2 verse number 21. And he changed the times and the season. He removed kings and set up kings. He gave wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. The Lord changed the season. He's the one who will change the season. And then the one who will remove kings. So if God is demoting people, he has his own understanding of doing it. Amen. Somebody say understanding. This week, I want you to spend your time. Praise. Put the money in your envelope. Amen. I want you to spend your time okay spend your time asking the lord to give you understanding lord may i understand your ways let me understand your worship let me understand my survival on the surface of the earth lord may i understand your will concerning my life what is the assignment you have for me people of god i want to encourage you before the year ends find an opportunity to minister to somebody about christ amen it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be a co-worker when you have the understanding of the heaven and the things of the heaven minister to them it will help them amen so it's the lord the bible says he given wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding then verse number 22 look at what it said in verse number 22. he revealed the deep and secret things god will do what he will do what the lord reveal the deep and secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him amen god revealed the deep and secret things he knew may the lord reveal everything that is in the darkness amen may the lord do what may the lord reveal everything that is in the darkness may the lord do what reveal it's, i'm giving you a prayer point i'm giving you a prayer point he revealed the deep and secret things is there anything that is deep and secret in your life that is bothering you that is a challenge may the lord reveal it amen and the light dwelleth with god 
God is light. And his word is light. He is the one. Darkness has no company with what? Light. That means that even understanding is light. So when you have understanding, you have light. Amen. And may you go everywhere and brighten up and shine. Amen. May your knowledge and your understanding be sought after. May people come to your aid because the understanding you have is different. He will reveal through you the deep and secret things. Somebody said the deep and secret things. He will reveal to you deep and secret things. When people are paying for money to get solution, the law will reveal to you for free. When people are making consultations in order to be faithful and in order to be successful, the law will give you revelation about deep and secret things. If you pray that prayer, you will never be the same. If you pray that prayer, you will never be the same. If you pray that prayer, you will never be the same. Amen. Amen. Go ahead to verse number 23. I thank thee and praise thee, O God of my Father, who has given me wisdom and might. And have made known unto me now what we desired of thee. For thou hast now made known unto us the king's matters. <laughs> Somebody say, God is a revealer of secrets. Do you know what that means? The king's matters. President can have a matter, it will take the least person to be able to reveal to the president. Amen. When people are looking for solution, may they find the solution from you. Amen. When people are looking for answer to their problem, may God direct them to you. Amen. And may you be a solution to all their questions. Amen. Amen. I'm speaking something great. Have you ever had an encounter with somebody before? And you counsel the person or you talk to the person and they feel relieved they feel free the chain is broken your counsel your advice has become a well a living stream in their life that does not just come by your own wisdom it comes by what god put inside of you amen in your family in your community May the Lord use you. And may the Lord give you understanding. When you pray, may God give you answers. May the Lord reveal to you things you don't even know. Amen. Ah, you will have only one dream. And that will be the beginning of your success. You will have only one answer to your prayer. And that will be the beginning of your breakthrough. Amen. One, understanding. Understanding. There is no offense with understanding. When you understand deeper things of life, you never get offended. You will not do what? You will not get offended. You will not be offended. When you have understanding why things are go doing, going the way they are going, you will chill and tell God, have your way. Who is it that can speak to the sea? Who is it that can speak to the storms? And they can be calm. There is nobody on the surface of the earth. Who is it that can speak to tornado? Who is it that can calm tornado? It is only God. He created them. He made them. He directs them. And he speaks to them. It is only God. That comes with understanding. If you understand who God is, people of God, don't treat God anyhow in your life. Value God and place demand on God. Amen. Don't treat God anyhow. 
let us not treat God anyhow. Let us give God the first place in our life. Every other thing comes second. But God comes first. Amen. And when we do for God every time, God will always do for us. Amen. God will always do for us. I pray the Nations Life Chapel, the members and those who are hearing on the internet will come to understand that God kept you alive because he has an assignment for you. Or God is keeping you alive because there is something new happening in your life. Only that you have not seen it yet with your eyes. But they are in the pipeline. God is bringing it. Amen. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm telling you. The two lepers were sitting on the gates. When there was chaos in the camp. They were sitting down there until they told themselves if we sit here we will die if we go there too we will die it is better for us to go in the camp and find food to eat and the bible says, when they got there it was god who caused confusion on that camp it all comes with revelation one day you will sleep and you will wake up pa, and your mind will be open you will be level on the different ground. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? There are some times that you ask God and you are asking God. One idea God would... Ah, I pray. I pray. Let all our families have the understanding of God. Amen. Let all our members, all our friends, all our family, may they have to get... May they get the understanding of God. If they know why they are worshiping god why god is still keep listen people people will tell you every day you go to church every day it's not about their matter oh. when jesus appears they won't tell you every day you'll be going to church oh no 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 that's a matter between you and god so that when you come to church 24 hours 48 hours 72 hours that is jesus's complaint it is not anybody's complaint amen so please let's find a heart let's find a place in our heart to put priority on god the things of god the things of god let's give special attention to the things of god amen there is nothing you will do in the house of god that you think god will never reward you god rewards everything and your labor will not be in vain it will not be in vain Amen. I understand that when it is time to worship God, I will give all the worship God. I will give it to him. Any other thing is secondary. Amen. Secondary. So I pray that God will meet you tonight. May the Lord meet you tonight. May God meet you tonight. Amen. Let's go ahead. Let's read a few scriptures. First John chapter 5, reading verse, from verse number 20. First John 5, 20. And we know that the Son of God is come and have given us understanding that we may know him that is true. And Go back again a little bit. First John 5 20. And we know that the Son of God is come and have given us understanding. Have you been given understanding? Yes. That we may know him that is truth and and we are in him that is truth. Even in his Son Jesus Christ that is the true God and eternal life. We are in what? We are in Christ. Tell, tell somebody, I am in Christ. And Christ has given me understanding. Today I pray that the Lord will open the heavens. And rain down his understanding. Divine understanding upon you. And ask yourself, why is it that when you are doing something, you take one step, you are going back. You take one step, you are going back. Why? When God gives you that understanding, it will never happen. Amen. That's your prayer. Amen. 
That is what? Your prayer. Now, I want you to also understand, understanding God's purpose. You must also understand God's purposes in your life. There is a purpose for which God called you. So you need to understand that. Job chapter 34, verse number 10 to 11. Understanding God's purposes for your life. Amen. Therefore, hearken unto me, ye men of understanding, far be it from God, that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty, that he should commit iniquity. 11. For the work of a man shall he render unto him, and cause every man to find according to his ways. Amen. Verse number 10 again. Look at what it says. Let's, let's take a look at it again. 10. Therefore hearken unto me, ye men of understanding. He said, listen to me, ye men of understanding. The Bible has already called you men of what? Men of what? Men of what? When you get to a place where they are looking for results, they are looking for solution. May you be found among the men. May God make you readily available. Do you know what that means? Joseph, the king, dreamt in the palace. Potiphar dreamt. And he had magicians who could interpret dreams. But they were not able to interpret the dream. Joseph was found in the same prison, the same place, palace of the king and was called upon to come and interpret and when he interpreted the kid the king understood and it became a solution Amen. may the lord give you interpretation Amen. may the lord give you interpretation Amen. may you have understanding to every dream Amen. to every direction Amen. i'm prophesying to you tonight Hallelujah. Amen. May you understand. May you ask yourself and say, God, why did you usher me to the year 2022? What am I supposed to be doing? Lord, how can I go about it? How am I supposed to worship you? Lord, help me to worship you diligently. Lord, help me to worship you committedly. Lord, worship me. Let me avail myself to you. Father, open the door for me. What is it in the year 2022? Give me understanding. When you do that, oh, before you realize, you'll be there. And you said, oh, I just put one and one together. Now, this is where I am. Why? Because the Lord gave you the knowledge. He gave you understanding. Listen, I pray. The understanding of the Lord shall be your portion. Even when situations are difficult in your life, may the Lord open the channel Amen. of understanding for you. Amen. Can I hear a louder? Amen. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse number 6. Oh. Understand therefore that the Lord thy God give it thee not this good land to possess it for all for thy righteousness for thou art what a stiff necked people understand therefore i'm going back again that the lord thy god give thee not this land to possess it for thy righteousness you know sometimes when let me give you an example of what the scripture is saying some people enter into businesses eh? enter into ventures and the thing is the lord that is leading them meanwhile they have not asked the way of the lord not all that glitters is gold amen so it is better for you to ask for god's understanding than to go to a place and said that is it i'm possessing it it happened to the children of Israel that when they go to the land the Bible talks about it you must recognize that the Lord your God is not giving you this good land because you are good for you are not you are a stubborn people 
It's not because of your goodness. That's why God is giving it to you. Amen. Amen. It is by his compassion. That's why he has sent you there. And he was saying, well, I want you to understand that you are stiff-necked people. It's very stubborn. Even though you are stubborn, I brought you there. Many of the time, when we get to a place, we think it's the Lord who is opening the door. But I pray that God will give you discernment to know an evil door from a good door. I pray that, you see, many are the, are the plans in a man's heart. But only the counsel of the Lord shall stand. Many are the plans in a man's heart, in people's heart. But only God's counsel, God's direction shall prevail, shall stand. May you not get to a place and think that you have arrived. May we not get to a place and think that we have arrived. Let us still humble ourselves. There is more God wants to give us. There is more to God's understanding. Amen. Do you know how big God is? Listen. His nostrils, when he blows air from his nostrils, right? When he blows air from this nose, God blows air from this nose, we will be scattered abroad. Because we are very little in the sight of God yet he loves us amen how many of you when you are in the plane far above in the sky and you look down a skyscraper or a story building becomes a small thing like this like this when you are up and you are looking down everybody look very tiny 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 from the plane very very tiny how do you think we look like in the sight of god <laughs> can you imagine that how do you think we are how do you think we look like god is in heaven looking down upon us and we are just little that's why when people are misbehaving towards god and say there is no god there's no jesus they are worrying themselves god created them and he has the power to hold them back amen somebody say understanding how do you say understanding in Spanish? Entendimiento. 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 May the Lord give you entendimiento. Amen. Understanding. Listen. If you understand that something is going to happen ahead of you by that traffic light, you will not pass there. Sometimes it happened to us and we say something told me to turn around. It's not something. It's God. It's the Holy Spirit. Because God is now giving you an open eyes to see what is about to happen and tells you your phone is forgotten. It's missing. You don't know where it is. And in his own way you start looking for that phone until that the hour passes. Then you realize that, oh, if I had gone ahead of that, something would have happened. It takes understanding. It takes what? It takes understanding. I pray for God's understanding for you. When you go home tonight, may the Lord reveal himself to you. Amen. May the Lord reveal himself to you. May the Lord speak to your spirit. May the Lord give you deeper direction and deeper revelation and secret things. May the Lord open the channels of heaven for which you receive understanding. Understanding can make you and turn you. Divine understanding can turn you around for a millionaire. One night somebody say what one night it can change things around one night a time spent in his presence will always reveal secret things and deeper things amen 
Somebody say understanding. understanding. It's very important. We must also learn to understand God's word. To understand what? God's word. Luke chapter 24, reading from verse number 45. We must also learn to understand God's word. Then he opened their minds. You can go back a little bit to 40. As he spoke, he showed them his hand and his feet. Still, they stood there in disbelief, filled with joy and wonder. Then he asked them, do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish. And he ate it as they watched. Then he said, when I was with you before, I told you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophet and in the Psalms must be fulfilled. They still don't understand. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. So where would your, where would your understanding come from? The scriptures. He opened their mind. Listen, listen. This word here. It's a powerful manual. It can tell you who you are. It can tell you where you are going. It can tell you how long you will live. It can tell you what God is saying. And you will sustain your life forever. Amen. It's a manual. Yeah. We are created. Genesis chapter 1 verse number 1. What did he say? Genesis 1.1 1, 1. In the beginning. In the beginning. Aha. God created the heavens and the earth. Verse number two. And the earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over the surface of the water. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Do you know what that light? God now said, let there be light. Let there be light. That light stands for understanding also. That light stands for wisdom. God is saying, let, there be, let your mind be open. Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Do you know what it is? That somebody woke up one day and created the earth. The heavens. And, and you and I are enjoying as human beings on the surface of the earth. Amen. We need to know who God is in our life. We need to know who God is in our life. We need to know who God really is in our life. We need to know. If you understand why God made you. Listen, as we are worshipping God right now, there are people who are hiding in caves in certain countries. To read the Bible, they can't find it. And anytime they read the Bible, they are killed. Anytime they gather to worship, their government will kill them. Anytime they gather to worship, they are burnt alive. Anytime they gather to worship, they are slaughtered because of the gospel. But you and I must understand that we have the privilege, we have the chance to worship our God. Amen. When you go to church and you come to church, how does it play meanings in your life? Does it only become a tradition? Or it becomes a special worship to know that I am preparing to go to the presence of the Lord. Your mind, your spirit, your soul, everything is about how you can meet God and how his word can change you. That's why we don't force people to go to church. If you force them, you can only preach and, and advise, but you can't really force them until that person has understanding to his or her worship to God. They will be running. There are some people, they belong to church or different ministry. When their service is going on, 
they cannot leave their service even if you invite them they will have to go and fulfill their assignment their duty before if they go anywhere they will go you know why those people have different understanding to the things of god they know they have to cherish god they know they have to make it work do you think we are the only person worshiping god right now our parents grand grand grandparent people who have passed have have worshiped god in the ancient days so this work is not new to anybody people have been patriarchs abraham david noah all of them in the past they've been doing this work you know why because they saw god they experienced god may you experience god amen your human nature will come in but when your human nature comes in tell god tell god to hold you fast tell god to give you that wisdom my prayer for you tonight that you will not do anything outside of the wisdom of god but may the lord guide you may the lord give you wisdom may the lord give you knowledge and understanding even when you are mad you will ask god to give you understanding lord may i understand and tonight we're going to be praying we're going to be asking god in any area of your life that you see that you are lacking understanding to how things are happening may the lord open that gate for you some people make little mistake of their life little mistake of their life it has turned into a big problem why they lack understanding so tonight we're going to be praying i want us to bow down our heads let's bow our heads we're going to be praying to god i say father oh lord every area of my life any situation in my life that i don't understand father grant me understanding lord open my eyes that i may understand with the things i go through lord open my eyes that deliverance will come from you lord i pray tonight and i ask you tonight help me to get that wisdom help me to operate in that wisdom in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the father that in any of my shortcomings and anything that make me to fall father help my understanding oh lord help me help me help the church to understand help the church to understand father give us understanding to our expansion that god whatever you call us to do we will do it faithfully father we glorify your name we give you all the praise we give you all the whole, all the glory have your way oh god have your way we can only gain understanding through faith so you're going to pray right now say lord increase my faith increase my faith oh god increase my faith increase my faith increase my faith thank you jesus oh thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. let the lord grant you the faith faith to stand in the midst of adversity faith to endure trials and challenges faith to endure any pain that you go through in the name of jesus may the lord heal us may the lord heal you may god heal you may god heal you in the name of jesus father heal us oh god and cause us, O oh God, to arise in Jesus' mighty name. 
Amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Amen. People are looking for opportunity like this to be in the presence of God, but they can't get it. So when you find yourself in the presence of the Lord, be grateful. I want us to do yourself a favor and try to invite people to church. Speak to people. Until you speak to somebody, they won't come. So you find means to say, hey, come, come, let's go to our church. Let's go listen to the word of God. Amen. And God will begin to do something great. In Jesus' name. It's about time we want to bless the Lord with our offering. If you have. We want to bless God tonight. Milagroso. Abres camino. Cumples promesas. Luzen tinieblas. Mi Dios. Así eres tú. Milagroso, abres camino. Cumples promesas, luz de las tinieblas. Mi Dios, así eres tú. You are here, moving in on me. Oh, I worship you. Grosso Camino, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios, así eres tú, milagroso, milagroso, abres camino, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios. Así eres tú. Hallelujah. Father, we just want to thank you for the offering. You are the way maker. You are the miracle worker. You are the science wonder. We thank you tonight. Oh, we give you praise. That every seed given to you tonight, oh God, let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted. I magnify you tonight. Those who are not here tonight, we commit them in the hands of the Lord. We pray that your name alone be lifted in their lives. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit, for who you are, God. Tonight, we commit ourselves into your hands. We are leaving this place. We are not leaving your presence. Let your presence go with us. Let your presence lead us, O oh God. Direct us, O oh God, tonight. Give us understanding. Give us wisdom. Even to how to speak. How to react how to survive we need that understanding oh the bible say in all thy getting get understanding father we thank you for that understanding tonight we give you all the praise in jesus mighty name we are praying can i hear a louder amen thank you for coming tonight